Turning 27 marked not just the passing of another year, but a significant milestone in my life journey. After nearly a decade of sharing cramped apartments with roommates, I finally decided to embark on a new chapter of my life by embracing solitude in the serene embrace of nature. It was a decision rooted in a deep longing for peace and independence, a desire to escape the relentless hustle and bustle of city life. My quest for tranquility led me to a quaint town nestled amidst sprawling forests, a couple of hours away from the cacophony of urban chaos I had grown accustomed to. Here, amidst the whispering trees and gentle rustle of leaves, I found a sense of calm that had eluded me for far too long. The decision to purchase a modest home in this idyllic setting felt like a monumental achievement a testament to my determination to carve out my own path in life. As I made preparations to move into my new abode, excitement mingled with a hint of trepidation. The prospect of living in such seclusion, far removed from the familiar comforts of city living, was both exhilarating and daunting. On the day of the move, as I unloaded boxes from the rental van and carried them into my new home, a sense of anticipation tingled in the air. It was a fresh start, a chance to create a sanctuary of my own amidst the tranquil embrace of nature. Yet, amidst the excitement of settling into my new home, an unexpected encounter cast a shadow of unease over the idyllic scene. A stranger, seemingly appearing out of nowhere, stood on my porch, his presence both jarring and unsettling. His sudden appearance, coupled with the remote location of my home, sent a shiver down my spine. Who was this mysterious visitor, and what had prompted his unexpected arrival? Despite my attempts to brush off the encounter, a sense of unease lingered in the air, casting a pall over the otherwise serene surroundings. With each passing day, I found myself haunted by the memory of that chance encounter unable to shake off the feeling that something sinister lurked just beyond the tranquil facade of my forest haven. As I settled into my new life, forging connections with the neighbors and immersing myself in the rhythms of small town living, the memory of that eerie encounter faded into the background. Yet, a part of me remained ever vigilant, wary of the shadows that danced on the periphery of my newfound sanctuary. For in the depths of the forest, Amidst the whispering trees and rustling leaves, secrets lay buried, waiting to be unearthed. The clock struck midnight as I embarked on the final leg of my journey, a weary traveler navigating the desolate highways in search of a new beginning. It had been a grueling 15-hour drive marked by endless stretches of empty roads and fleeting glimpses of distant city lights. Yet, with each passing mile, the anticipation of starting afresh in a new town fueled my determination to press on. As the darkness enveloped me like a cloak, I found myself grappling with exhaustion, my weary eyes fixed on the glow of the GPS screen, counting down the minutes until my arrival. It was a journey fraught with uncertainty, a leap of faith into the unknown. Yet beneath the weariness lay a flicker of excitement, a glimmer of hope for a brighter tomorrow. Finally, the highway exit loomed ahead, a beacon of hope amidst the vast expanse of darkness. As I navigated the winding roads leading into the heart of the town, a sense of apprehension crept over me. The streets were deserted, shrouded in an eerie silence that sent a chill down my spine. It was as if the town itself held its breath, awaiting my arrival with batted breath. Pulling up to my new home, I found myself greeted by a scene straight out of a nightmare. The house shrouded in darkness stood silent and foreboding, its windows like vacant eyes staring out into the night. With trembling hands, I fumbled for the key 
the metallic clink echoing in the stillness of the night as I unlocked the door and stepped inside. What greeted me was a sight straight out of a horror movie. The interior lay cloaked in darkness, the shadows dancing eerily across the walls. As I ventured further into the depths of the house, a sense of uneasy settled over me, a feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. It was as if the very walls themselves held secrets, whispering tales of darkness and despair. Yet, it was not until I reached the upstairs hallway that the true horror of my situation became apparent. There, amidst the gloom, I caught sight of a figure lurking in the shadows, its presence sending a shiver down my spine. With a heart pounding in my chest, I fled from the house, the echoes of my footsteps mingling with the whispers of the night. Outside, I found myself engulfed in darkness, the night sky stretched out like a vast canvas dotted with distant stars. It was a scene of surreal beauty, yet beneath the tranquility lay an undercurrent of fear, a sense of impending doom that lingered in the air. As I waited for help to arrive, I found myself haunted by the memory of that fleeting glimpse of darkness, a reminder that sometimes, the greatest horrors lie hidden in the shadows. The move to my new home marked the beginning of a journey into the unknown, a leap of faith into a world shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Nestled on the outskirts of town, amidst the sprawling expanse of wilderness, my new abode stood as a beacon of hope amidst the darkness that enveloped the land. As I settled into my new surroundings, I found myself drawn to the untamed beauty of the wilderness, the rustling of leaves and the distant howl of the wind becoming the soundtrack to my solitude. Yet beneath the tranquil facade of my forest haven lay a darkness that I could not shake, a sense of unease that lurked in the shadows waiting to be unleashed. It began with a chance encounter, a fleeting glimpse of a stranger standing on my doorstep, his presence casting a pall over the serenity of my newfound sanctuary. Despite my attempts to dismiss the encounter as a trick of the light, a sense of foreboding lingered in the air, a feeling that I could not shake no matter how hard I tried. As the days turned into weeks, the sense of unease grew, creeping into every corner of my existence like a silent specter. Strange noises echoed through the darkness of the night, the shadows dancing like malevolent spirits in the flickering light of the moon. It was as if the very forest itself had come alive, its secrets whispering tales of darkness and despair. Then, one fateful night, the darkness descended like a shrewd, enveloping my home in its icy embrace. From the depths of the night, strange sounds echoed through the empty corridors, the creaking of floorboards, and the rustling of leaves sending shivers down my spine. It was a scene straight out of a nightmare, a descent into madness that I could not escape. As I stood alone in the darkness, the shadows closing in around me, I realized that I was not alone. There, Amidst the gloom, lurked a presence that I could not see, a malevolent force that sought to consume me whole. With trembling hands, I reached for the light switch, the flickering glow illuminating the darkness and revealing the horrors that lay hidden within. In that moment I knew that I could no longer deny the darkness that lurked within my midst. It was a presence that had haunted me since the day I first set foot in this cursed place a malevolent force that sought to destroy everything I held dear. Yet even as I confronted the darkness that lurked within, I knew that the battle was far from over. For in the depths of the night, amidst the shadows that danced like malevolent spirits, lay the true horror of my existence, a darkness that threatened to consume me whole. At 26, I found myself standing at a crossroads on the brink of a new chapter in my life. Having spent the better part of a decade sharing living spaces with roommates, I yearned for a place to call my own, a sanctuary where I could retreat from the chaos of the world. 
And so, when the opportunity arose to purchase a quaint cottage, nestled amidst the rolling hills of a neighboring town, I seized it with both hands. The house, though modest, exuded a charm that spoke to my soul. Surrounded by fields of swaying grass and towering trees, it stood as a testament to the quiet beauty of rural life. Yet, as I crossed the threshold into my new abode, a sense of unease settled over me, like a shadow lurking at the edge of my consciousness. The first few days passed in a blur of unpacking and settling in, the rhythmic hum of cicadas punctuating the stillness of the countryside. Yet, beneath the tranquil facade of my new home lay a darkness that I could not shake a sense of foreboding that seemed to seep into the very walls themselves. It began with subtle signs, a creaking floorboard here, a flickering light there, innocuous enough on their own, but enough to set my nerves on edge. Then came the whispers, soft insidious murmurs that seemed to echo through the empty rooms, their origin elusive and unsettling. As the days turned into weeks, the whispers grew louder, their words twisting and distorting into eerie echoes of abandonment and despair. I found myself haunted by visions of a past that was not my own, of a family torn apart by tragedy and loss. It was as if the house itself held the memories of those who had come before me, their restless spirits lingering in the shadows. Desperate for answers, I delved into the history of my new home, uncovering long-buried secrets that shed light on the darkness that lurked within its walls. It was a story of love and betrayal, of lives lost and souls trapped in limbo, doomed to wander the halls of the house for eternity. In the end, I made the difficult decision to leave, to abandon the sanctuary that had become a prison of echoes and shadows. Yet as I walked away from the cottage for the last time, I could not shake the feeling that it would always be a part of me, a lingering presence in the depths of my soul. As I stood on the threshold of 27, I found myself drawn to the allure of a new beginning, a chance to leave behind the echoes of the past and forge a path of my own. And so, when the opportunity arose to purchase a dilapidated mansion nestled on the outskirts of town, I saw it as a chance to breathe new life into forgotten memories. The house, though grand in its heyday, stood as a shadow of its former self, its once stately facade now marred by the passage of time. Yet, as I stepped through the crumbling doorway and into the dimly lit foyer, I felt a sense of belonging wash over me, a feeling that this was where I was meant to be. In the days that followed, I threw myself into the task of restoring the mansion to its former glory. Each creaking floorboard and peeling wallpaper, a testament to the history that lay hidden within its walls. Yet beneath the surface, I could sense a presence, a lingering echo of the past that refused to be forgotten. It began with subtle signs, a flickering light here, a cold draft there, innocuous enough on their own but enough to send a shiver down my spine. Then came the whispers, soft insidious murmurs that seemed to seep into the very fabric of the house, their origin elusive and unsettling. As the renovations progressed, the whispers grew louder, their words twisting and distorting into eerie echoes of forgotten memories and lost souls. I found myself haunted by visions of a past that was not my own, of lives lived and loves lost in the shadows of the mansion's halls. Desperate for answers, I delved into the history of the house, uncovering long-buried secrets that shed light on the darkness that lurked within its walls. It was a story of tragedy and betrayal, of lives torn apart by greed and ambition, doomed to wander the halls of the mansion for eternity. In the end, I made the difficult decision to leave to abandon the mansion and the ghosts that haunted it. Yet, as I walked away from the crumbling facade for the last time, I could not shake the feeling that it would always be a part of me, a lingering presence in the depths of my soul.